Hi everybody, so today I'm turning myself into Rocket the Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers. So I'm going in with the sleek eyeliner pencil in black to mark out the nose and face details. I've zoomed you on in here so you can see a bit better. I'm looking at a reference image of him in the white Avengers suit, which is when the characters all get in the Avengers suits and then go into the portal. Here we are drawing out the outfit. By sketching out a rough outline it helps colour block and paint the areas in various colours that you know need extra detailing and stuff later. My reference image is on another phone and I always refer back to it to check where all the marks and everything need to be. And the reason I use an eyeliner is because it covers easily with paint. It can be any colour eyeliner as long as it's not liquid. On the shoulders I've done the buckle detailing and here I am drawing the Avengers logo. Or attempting to. And now marking out the raised areas on the sleeves, which are like padded areas. So here I am using a, it's an acrylic paintbrush from a set from the range. This is quite a large one and I'm just using the Mayron dark brown paint as a base colour for the fur. I'm trying to keep it in the direction of what the fur is on the photo of Rocket. So change in direction as I go around the face. And then taking it down the neck. This is the Mayron Paradise paints. And I've painted it a bit into my hairline and into my ears. Then using a small craft paintbrush. Again, these are like a kid's pack from the range. I'm going in with a slightly darker shade of brown. And I've done this by mixing in some black with the brown paint. Just to get some extra fur details. And I do this with quite a lot of the colours. Going in with different tones of browns um, by adding black or adding white to ensure I build the layers up to make realistic fur and trying to make sure there's no skin colour remaining. As you can see I'm darkening up the areas in between the brows using its much smaller hair strokes now to get that texture and that detailing. Mixing in even more black so it's almost completely black. I'm going in on the eyes to create the raccoon shapes. And this will get darkened again later. And I've also done tiny little hair strokes across the nose in stripes to get the raccoon detailing. And then we're going in with an even darker brow by adding more black into that. And adding more little hair strokes all over the face. Again, keep it to the direction of his fur in the reference image. And now we're filling in the nose with black paint, so I outlined it earlier. So I'm going in with the Mayron Paradise paint in black to do this and a craft brush from the same kid set. And then using that black paint, I'm adding more detail around the eyes to make them darker. And then adding a few more lines to the face for the fur. Then taking a long liner brush, I think this is a Mayron brush, and I've mixed in a lot of white paint with the brown to create a light brown to add in the details of the lighter stripes 
on the face, again using the fur detailing, little hair strokes in the pattern that it is on the reference image. By using a lighter shape you're starting to highlight the fur now in the areas that need highlighting. This adds another dimension. So you've got the base colour and then you add darker tones to shadow and then lighter tones to highlight. And I keep mixing more white paint to get the lighter shades. Go around the outside of my face so it looks like it's off the edge. It brings it to life by adding these lighter details. And now creating the shape of his brows. This time I'm using almost completely white paint. Again, the bronze Mayron. And I'm going around the edge of where what the mouthpiece will be to create little fluffy detailing. I decided to keep my hair slicked back for this in a low bun because later on the hair needs to be painted slightly and I've already pre-made some ears. I'm now going in with another one of those craft brushes and using the white Mayron paint, Paradise paint, I am filling in that mouth area. If you get hungry whilst painting, leave this till last, but I don't eat or rarely drink even whilst I'm doing a paint. I make sure I'm flicking those edges out to blend it into that fur I'd already created, those hair strokes, and to blend it all together nicely so it's seamless. I'm going back in with that long liner brush and adding more fur texture around the mouth. Using that same brush but going in with black and white mix to make grey, I'm now making tiny dots above the mouth to add that um, texture where his whiskers come out of and then going back over it with white paint to blend that in. Using the white paint on long liner brush again, I am now creating the whiskers. You don't want them to be perfectly straight because that's not what whiskers do. And here I am checking the tones of the ears in regards to the face. I'm going in with the Rodal Beauty Black Smoky Eye Pen, which is actually a pencil but it's called a Smoky Eye Pen, on the waterline to darken those eyes and using the P. Louise Bada Black Base on a flat brush and pat pat patting that all over the lid and under the eyes to darken that area and then patting the remaining onto the lips. Going in with the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro palette and using shade Lights Out which is a matte black shade I am patting that all over that base to set it and to ensure you've got ultra dark eyes and lips. And I'm going back in with that white craft brush and adding the fur detailing on the eyebrows. So the craft brush again is from the range in the UK, we can get these from any kind of craft store and I'm going in with the Mayron white paint and then I'm using a long liner brush again to add more fluffy brow detailing. For the ears I used a plain headband and some card and I literally painted the first strokes onto the card um, when, and sketched out the ear shape that I needed with a pencil first, painted it let it to dry and then I left a flap at the bottom which I then taped onto the headband to make the ears stand up. Just using sellotape. Now I've gone in on the neck with white and dark shades just to add that detailing in and then I'm finally on to the suit. So I've mixed the black and white paint to create a grey and then I've gone in with the white on a small flat brush to create the lines in his suit. Going in with the red from Mayron now on a flat brush again, this is one of my acrylic paint brushes and I'm filling in that neck collar, keeping the brush strokes in the similar direction to ensure that it makes the suit look like it's fitted to the body.
making sure I'm filling in that red detailing around the edge of the buckle and that all the lines connect and then mix in a lighter grey shade we're using the white and black mayron paints on a small detail brush I'm going in and filling in those gaps near the neck with grey I'm just going in with grey to make some dots on the nose to make the nose stand out more I'm using that same grey paint to outline the collar so it stands out and outline the red areas. This creates a shadow and makes the suit appear more 3D. I'm now using a tiny detail brush, it's um, like a long liner brush again, this time with black paint to create the dots in his suit. I have not done the same pattern, they're more like a checkerboard um, which would have taken me forever because it's so tiny so I did dots in a very similar pattern on all over the red areas to create that effect. Now going in with the black paint and filling in the outline of the buckle and I'm looking at my reference image constantly here to get the shape correct. And you're starting to make it pop 3D. And do the same on the other side. I'm just outlining that grey area because that is part of the buckle. You want it to stand out more. Going back in with the red paint, this time I'm filling it in on the buckle because this is going to be a reflector. Going in with white to add highlights and this is where it begins to pop and become 3D. Mixing that grey again and using that to create the buckle. And using the white paint, I'm just adding white highlights to the reflector to make it seem more 3D and reflective. Now I've mixed um, a light grey shade using more white in the black paint and I'm filling in the A symbol for the Avengers. Using this, the darker grey shade, I am now filling in the metallic little hooks on the suit and doing the outlines of all the suit details. Using a quarter brush and the white paint, paradise paint from Mayron, I am now filling in the main areas of the suit, keeping the strokes all the same way. To make sure that it was white after I've been mixing greys into it, I literally took a wipe and just wiped the top layer. And then I'm using a Morphe brush, it's a Kabuki brush, and I am blending it into the chest. This just gives it a smooth appearance, gets rid of any lines. This is a really good brush to use for large areas. It's much quicker too to pat it on and blend it out. Going back in with a quarter brush just to get around the edge of that logo and make sure the edges are all perfect. And then blend, blend, blend. Going in with a really small detail brush now, I'm going in with the white paint in between the gaps of the A and around the circle of the logo to make it pop. Now I'm using the white paint to create the zip. Then I've just used a slightly grey tone to make that pop in a 3D way around the edge. 
going in with the white again on the quarter brush and filling in the armpit and chest area. And now onto the arms. You want to make sure that your armpits are painted, although it is one of the hardest areas to remove the paint from. Going back in with that kabuki brush, I am blending. And I realised it would be much easier if I did that on the other side from the start. And because the eyeliner still shows through, because I used black today, I can pat this on and I can still see the shapes of the padding through it, which is perfect. So, blend it on in. Going in with the Carnival XL Pro palette again in colour Vex this time. This is on a flat straight brush, one of the Harry Potter wand brushes and I am just creating those outlines of the padding and creating shadows underneath on um, thicker lines on the sides where the shadows hit so it looks like it pops. Adding in that shade Vex on the suit where I need it to stand out more as well to create 3D effects under the red section near the zip and in those lines between the collar and then under the fur so the fur looks like it's on top of the suit now to do their arm I'm just adding highlights to the metal work with the white paint on a liner brush and this is the look done so to complete the look we dismantled some cotton wool balls and used the Ben Nye prosthetic adhesive to apply it to the ears and onto the headband and a little bit of paint to blend it all in. But this is the finished look with the headband on and I'm officially Rocket the Raccoon. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below, give it a thumbs up and if you don't already please subscribe and turn on the notifications by clicking the little bell. If you want to follow me over on Instagram for more looks then it's Laura Whittle MUA. Thank you!